Our next guest can be seen on newsstands across America where he is the first veteran and amputee to ever be put on the cover of Men's Health magazine from Birmingham, Alabama. Please welcome Noah Galloway. <laughs> You are incredible. You're an amazing human being. Um, first of all, how does it feel to see yourself all over newsstands when you're passing? Do you just on purpose go to newsstands and just now? stand there? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's been it's been amazing. You know, I, you know, anywhere I go now, people recognize me. Mm -hmm. if, if they don't know, I tell them, "Hey, I'm on the cover of Men's Health magazine." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and it's it's been really good. I mean, I've had friends that have been calling me and saying, "Hey, this is amazing. You've always I've always talked about wanting to be on, you know, Men's Health or be in the issue." And, yeah. Of course, now it's got me sitting here next to you. <laughs> so, I mean, this is pretty incredible. That's sweet, and I'm sitting next to you. Um, so let's, uh, let's hear the story. You, you uh, actually, actually, right after 9-11, you joined the Army. I did. I was going to uh, UAB, University of Alabama at Birmingham, and mm -hmm. I dropped out of school to enlist. Mm -hmm. And I was in the initial invasion of Iraq in 2003. Uh, went back for a second appointment, and about three months into it, hit a roadside bomb. Don't remember any of it. Woke up six days later. It was Christmas Day. I was at Walter Reed, and you know, because I'd just woken up, it was my mom who was standing next to the bed and told me that I'd lost my arm and my leg. Mm -hmm. And your reaction to that was? There was a lot of anger. You know, I was a very physical person, and you know, being injured, I thought, well, all that's over. And I didn't know what I was going to do with myself. And there was a lot of depression I went through. And then finally one day, I was looking for, in the for mirror. How, how long were you? Well, I mean, it, I mean, that took a few years. I'm of, sure. Yeah, of just, you know, being miserable. And I, I hid it from my friends and family. I'd go out in public. I think everything was fine. But then I'd sit at home, and I, I would drink a lot. And I just kind of kept to myself. Mm -hmm. It was hard in the beginning. Yeah. How did, you, how did you start working out again? Uh, I joined a 24-hour gym uh, so I could go in like 2 in the morning. I, I was embarrassed. Uh, of the shape I was in, that my injury, everything. I had to figure out new ways to work out, what I was going to do. And then as I started, you know, progressing and getting stronger and healthier and fitter, then I felt okay to go in the middle of the day. And I started doing, you know, races, started with a 5K, 10K, you know, obstacle course races, marathons, anything I could do to push myself, I was hooked. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, yeah, it's, look at that. I mean, people that, that have all of their... <laughs> Limbs. I mean, that's amazing. It's amazing. So, what is your now? You obviously are somebody who keeps challenging themselves. What's your What's your new goal? You know, I think I want to uh, compete in an Ironman. So, your fund is called the No Excuses Charitable Fund, right? Yes. And uh, so, we want to help you train for Ironman, and we want to help raise some money. So, uh, we're going to give you 20 seconds to do 20 push-ups. And if you can do, we'll pay $200 a push-up. Um, and so, but you only have 20 seconds. You think you can do that? I'll give it a shot. All right, let's do it. All right. Tell me when. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Woo! good at math. I don't know how much money that was. So our friends at Shutterfly want to help people share life's joy. They're going to give you uh, $10,000. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. And one more thing. Let me take this down. When, when you do get going in that race, I have this for you. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You are terrific. You were amazing. Thank you for, for your sacrifice, what you did. Thank you for everything that you have done. Thank you. Thank you.